Hi everybody. I'm going to make soap today. It's been um, a couple of weeks since I've been on, since it's been so busy with the Christmas rush. Um, so I've just sort of found a little half an hour to myself this afternoon so we can get on and do some filming because I've not done any for a while. So I'm going to start a range of soaps for mid-January. I've got this thing in my head, um, a little release that I've wanted to do based around sort of um, the time where you start to plan your summer garden. So this is going to be based around seed packets and sitting down on a cold winter's day planning your summer garden, you know? So you've got your seed catalogues and just thinking ahead what vegetables you want to grow. So all the fragrances I'm going to be using are sort of um, based around nice cottage gardens and allotments and things like that. So we're going to be getting like things like carrot and fennel and orange and lots of sort of citrus. And then I've got clover, nasturtiums, all these kind of ideas in my head um, for things that I grow myself. So like tomatoes and things like that. But I want to sort of incorporate just that feeling of the excitement of looking through your seed catalogues or your plant catalogues and deciding what you're going to grow. So the first one today, I'm going to be making a citrus blend. So it's got orange, like a Valencia orange, um, mixed with sort of kind of a herbal sort of blend. It's a bit like a Joe Malone sort of a blend that I've made. Um, but yeah, sort of nice, fresh citrus, but with a sort of... Um, strange sort of backgroundy herbal sort of edge going on at the same time so i'm just waiting for oils to cool a little bit a little bit further to go and today i'm going to be using a clementine orange mica from the soapery and i'm going to use jade green from uh, mica mama on a white base and then i think through the center i'm going to sprinkle some rubus tea which is in this little jar here so I'm going to do my usual chopstick swirl, keep things simple because I want the whole range to sort of complement itself. So every soap I'm going to sort of, you know, do the colours to match the fragrance, but I want them all, when they line up, to just look, you know, good all together. So that's my plan and I, I know exactly what I want to do in my noggin. I just need to, yeah, make sure that the plan goes to plan. So bear with me and I'll get these oils and the lye all down and we'll start making the soap. Okay. Okie dokie. We are ready to pour the lye into the oils. I'm soaping at around room temperature as usual. I'm going to stick them to a light trace. It's just been so busy and I've got parcels, bags of parcels that I need to take to the post office. But if you'd seen the queue, you would have backed away as well as I did. Oh, Lord. I cannot stand queues. I don't mind, you know, a small queue. But when it's going around a blooming corner and it's freezing cold outside, you don't want that, do you? It's been a... Pretty frosty and damp and cold and horrible today. And yeah, <laughs> I, we wait till tomorrow morning and take them to the little post office by us. Okay, so orange going in. Sometimes you just have to think, okay, I can't, there's nothing I can do today. I'm not standing in that. It's Monday, so you know, there's, the people are out trying to get their things done at the start of the week usually the case or well, that probably is what the case is I just like no I'm not doing it not today okay let me just stick them these very quickly that's a nice orange I've used this orange before it's a really good one that's the soapery in the UK really nice and then that is my mama it's a really nice color too that is actually like a real jade Lovely. I'm just waiting on a new Micah Mama order, actually. I think it's been dispatched. I've just got to wait for it to come. But 
I ordered some of my old favourites, you know, like plum purple and the pistachio green one, which I love. There's some with Mike and Mama that you just have to have. <laughs> you just have to have. Okay, so, right, I'm going to put in my base. And just stick in that. Okay, so, majority of the fragrance will go in my base. I'm just going to put a little bit in those. It's a nice light colour, so hopefully this won't discolour. And I very much doubt it's going to accelerate. It doesn't kind of smell like one that's going to go on me. And I don't think it is, no, it's fine. So the blend is my own blend, but I've been buying some oils from Scent Perfique again because they're one of my favourites. And I find that their oils are pretty good and I don't usually have any issues. A lot like Candle Shack, I don't have issues with acceleration from Scent Perfique. But I was looking at their uh, reviews on Google and I'm quite surprised to see how disappointed some people are with Saint Perfique. It's it's weird because I'm like I've never really had a good one. I've had some really really good fragrances from them, and continue to get good fragrances from them. But yeah, you know, I don't know. Some people are disgruntled and think that they don't smell very strong, but I think they smell just fine. Just fine. You've got to be careful what you choose, I suppose. But I've never really had one that's caused me any problem. So. Amen to that. Okay, I'm going to pour this. It's a nice, subtle, pretty. Good job there's nothing in that because that's gone on the floor. Yeah, very subtle, pretty, floral, citrus, herbal yumminess. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pour in the base. Then I think I'll go with orange first for a swirl. It's sort of like doing a drop swirl. You've seen me do this a hundred times. A little more. Okay, and then green or jade. Jade. get my chopstick. Okay, so I'm just going to do my usual swirl, like so, and down there, like so. Um, I just want a bit more white, so I only want a bit to just go over my top. Stayed nice and fluid. That would be really good for a tie one swirl that I never do because I don't like cutting my soaps without the tank or you know a, a cutter. And you have to cut your tie one swirls different, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> so I never do the tie one swirl, even though it's so beautiful. I never do it. Okay, so pour the orange down the side. While I'm doing this, let's have a chat. I'll tell you what I've been watching on the television. On the little blue box in the corner of the room. Well, Paz is in the middle of the room. Okay, so I've been watching, right, I, f I always forget what to tell you what Matt and I watch together. I'm always telling you what I watch on Netflix, but at home together, we generally don't watch the same thing. So I finished watching The Crown. He did catch a couple of bits of that, Matt did, but um, I watched pretty much the whole thing alone. And then we watched the Diana documentary and he caught sort of a couple of episodes of that, which I actually enjoyed. And other than that, I watched, you know, all kinds of stuff, as you know. But together, 
We're usually watching YouTube, and I've mentioned the Nine Club before. We always watch the Nine Club every Monday and every Thursday, and that's the skateboard podcast that we love. And another absolute favourite, and I think anyone could watch this, is Jamie O'Brien, the surfer. His channel is probably one of my absolute favourites now. When I first started watching him, I thought, who is this loony? But the more you watch him, the more you're just, he's, it's like addictive. He's such a funny, funny character. And his videos are proper entertainment. I just find him hilarious. And the way that they live their life in that beauty, on that beautiful Hawaiian island, it's just got like um, a feel to it every time you watch it. Because, you know, with COVID and everything, there's no, not just with COVID, we might have a, a money issue here, but there's no way that we're going to be going to Hawaii anytime soon, which is my dream, you know. One of my dream destinations always, always has been, I think since I watched Lost. <laughs> but just catching them on the old YouTube is like, it's enough, you know especially this year where you've just wanted to escape the realities of life and his channel has just been a saving grace so jamie o'brien yeah if you haven't checked him out and you just want to escape from everything he's really really good and uh yeah i just revel in someone else's life you know <laughs> which is a nice thing to do especially when times are tough as they have been. I mean, you know, mentally, it's like it's really good mental stimulation. So I watch Jamie O'Brien. There's also my other surfers. There's uh, Co Rothman. I like watching him as well. He's not quite so um, entertaining. He's all right. He's, he's a good channel. Um, there's also, um, I think he is This Is Living. Um, or is that Nathan someone? There's a few surfers anyway. Blair Conklin, he's another one we watch him. I call him um, Surfing Jesus. <laughs> he's got like this beautiful blonde hair. Not that Jesus is ever depicted with blonde hair, but this guy, he's got long, blonde, beautiful hair, like surfers do. And um, he's very softly spoken when he does his videos. And he's not so crazy. You know, you watch Jamie O'Brien and then you come to watch Blair. And you think, oh, Blair, he's so chill, you know? So we watch Blair Conklin as well. So, yeah, surfing YouTube channels are a thing in our house. We watch a lot of it. And uh, it just helps. It just helps us to really chill. And the other things I've been doing, I've been meditating a lot. I did a meditate course. There's an app on my phone called Deep Meditate. So I've been using that. And I've done a 30-day course, which I finished a few days ago. And I'm doing like a daily meditation every morning. And it really helps, you know? It really, really helps. Especially like even in like daily life, how, you know, I get quite irate when I'm driving. <laughs> I'm one of those, I get really impatient and I'm learning actually to just chill out. And I'm sure it's that, I'm sure it's for meditation because I'm just not, I'm not stressing as much. It's just like, ah, oh, whatever, you know? So it's really helping me to, uh, so I'm just getting this off this side. And we'll go in with the spoon in a sec. Yeah, it's helping me to really chill my mind and to not be reactionary then. Responsive, not reactionary. Does that make sense? Of course it does. <laughs> so like, yeah, it's making me train my brain to not immediately react to, oh, you know, the traffic might be moving at a snail's pace for about 20 seconds or something and I'm losing my damn mind and now I don't do it anymore because I just think, eh, whatever. Everything's just fine. <laughs> right, I'll be back in a sec. I'm just going to wait for that to set up and we will um, be able to do the top. Okay, just going to do the top of this then. Ooh, that's nice. a little bit runny but 
just got away with it. That looks really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, I'll take um, pics for this halfway through and then I will be back tomorrow in the morning to cut it. So there we go. I will see you in the morning. Okay, back again to cut this little beauty right here. I forgot to sprinkle the tea on the top. So I had to do that after I was done. <laughs> so we'll just cut one loaf and then I'll do the other one off camera. So nice colours. It's very um, spring-like, I guess, which is what we're going for here. It's so nice to not be making Christmas products today. I will, but I've got to just do a few, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of done with Christmas. <laughs> just going to get my trimmer. Okay, let's get the ends off here. I don't know why today is so different out there, but it's a lot less busy. I think yesterday everybody was going crazy with the post. It took me three attempts to get to my post office and three times I turned away because the queues were literally like it must have been an hour, hour and a half wait to actually get to the counters. Now, I don't have to uh, stand at the counters and do every box individually for my post because I've got a business account, but I do have to go in and just hand my post over to the post office. Oh, honestly. So I waited till this morning. I went up early this morning and it turns out that actually the guy at Royal Mail has said I can go and take my boxes to him, like all my bags to him in the mornings when there's nobody around and he'll just take them for me which you don't even realize how much of a complete relief that is because when you've got several bags and you've got to stand in a post office to just hand over a piece of paper there's nothing worse you just think come on come on come on i want to just get this dropped off it's all paid for it just needs to be given to somebody but oh the hassle geez but anyway sorted now so now it's just such a weight off my mind that every time I got post, I can just go and give it to this guy. So I'm going to give him a package for Christmas to just say thank you because he's, save, he's going to save me so much time. So much time and hassle. Anyway, that's postage dilemmas out of the way today. Ooh. So orders are still flying in thick and fast at the moment here. But uh, I'm running out of products so now I've got to make again. Anyway, there's the inside. So I'm really pleased with the colours. It's exactly what I wanted. There's the first chunk. It's really pretty. It smells really nice. It's like, it's so subtle but it's like a you know, really nice, refreshing, unassuming scent, you know? It's not in your face, it's not crazy, it's just a really nice... I think after Christmas, I probably say this in every video after like I finish doing my Christmas stock, there's just something so nice about, <clears throat> excuse me, about um, working on spring before Christmas is even over, here and done, you know? It's like you're sort of ahead of the game, but it's like a really nice feeling because my headspace is actually somewhere else. It's in a much more calm, serene place <laughs> than being forced to deal with the Christmas rush, you know? So yeah, I like uh, this time of year just because I'm thinking forward about something other than the crazy time that we deal with at this time of the year. I think as soap makers, most of us have that, you know, because you always have to think ahead because your soap has to cure before it's ready to go on sale. So uh, you have to always be 
a month ahead really, sometimes even more than that. I suppose like magazines, <laughs> but not quite ex on the extreme, you know. Anyway, there we go. I haven't got the name that I'm going to call this yet. I'm just uh, going to have to sit down with my pad and my pen and decide what I'm going to call these soaps that I'm making. So I've got about eight different scents. And some I've done before and some I haven't. So I shall be uh, having to sort out all my files for my products and then do the portal thing as usual. That's all going to change next year because the UK are going to have their own portal. So hopefully we can just upload our files that we've already got to the new one and then go from there with anything new. So it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. It's always a very stressful thing when things are about to change, but um, nobody really knows anything yet. Everyone's just surmising, so I just wait. And rather than just keep surmising, I just wait until we get the uh, go-ahead to do what we've got to do. But yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice, smooth, easy process. We shall see. So that's that one, and I will be back for the next one I decide to make. So yeah, like I said, I've got about eight different batches. I'm also going to be doing a video on my favourite fragrances for soap for 2020. So for you soap makers out there that watch, you might be interested to watch that one. I might, I might make that the next video. I've got a list of them that I've been writing down so I can share my favourites. So I'd be looking at things that don't accelerate and haven't caused any trouble, I've kept their scent, so that kind of thing. Just giving my favourites. Which I think is a nice thing to do at the end of the year. And that'll be that. So that should be in the next couple of days. I'll try and get that filmed. And I will see you soon. Ta-ta.